Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qabus receives more cables of greetings on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to the homeland. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said chairs the Sultan's delegation at the Works of Arab Summit in Egypt. And celebrations of the wilayas of the governorates of continue rejoicing the safe return of His Majesty to the homeland. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabus receives more cables of greetings from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to the homeland. His Majesty the Sultan receives a cable of greetings from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of Bahrain on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to the homeland. His Majesty received a cable of greetings from His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to homeland. His Majesty Sultan Qabus received more cables on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to the homeland. They were from His Highness Sheikh Hamid bin Rashid Al Naimi, member of the Supreme Council of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Ajman, His Royal Highness Amir Makran bin Ablaziz Al Saud, Crown Prince and Vice Chairman of the Council of Ministers in Saudi Arabia, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of UAE, His Highness Sheikh Amr bin Hamid Al Naimi, Crown Prince of Ajman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Rashid Al Naimi, Deputy Ruler of Ajman, and His Excellency Ahmed Dawood Oglu, Prime Minister of Turkey. On behalf of His Majesty Sultan Qabus, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said, representative of His Majesty the Sultan, chaired the Sultan's delegation in the works of the 26th Ordinary Arab Summit of the Council of the Arab League countries, which started today in the Egyptian city of Sharm al Sheikh. At the inauguration speech at the summit, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Subah, Emir of the State of Kuwait and Chairman of the previous Arab summit, greeted His Majesty Sultan Qabus on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return home. In his speech at the opening session of the Arab summit, His Highness Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Subah. Amir of the state of Kuwait thanked Almighty for the safe return of His Majesty Sultan Qabus to his country. He extended his greetings and best wishes to His Majesty the Sultan and the Omani people praying to Almighty to continue bestowing on His Majesty good health to continue leading the blessed march of the Sultanate. In his speech before the Arab summit, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, extended his greetings on the occasion of the blessed return of His Majesty the Sultan safely to the homeland thanks to Almighty's grace and care. He wished His Majesty good health and welfare. With the presence of the leaders and representatives of Arab countries, the 26th Arab Summit in Sharm Al Sheikh discusses a number of issues related with the regional and Arab security through a mechanism of forming mutual Arab force to confront terrorism, besides projects related to finding political solutions to the current crisis in the region, namely development in Yemen, crisis in Syria and Libya, and Palestinian cause, situation in Iraq, and a number of economic topics concerned with the free Arab trade zone 
custom union and strengthening cooperation as well as mutual Arab work. His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, received at the International Convention Center in Sharm Al Sheikh, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said, representative of His Majesty the Sultan, on the sideline of the works of Arab Summit currently held in Egypt. His Highness conveyed during the meeting the greetings of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos and best wishes to His Highness the Emir of Qatar for good health and welfare and the Qatari people further progress and prosperity. From his side, His Highness the Emir of Qatar requested His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said to convey his greetings to His Majesty the Sultan and his best wishes of good health and long life and the Omani people further progress and prosperity. Bilateral relations between the two countries were discussed and several issues in the Arab international arenas were discussed. The meeting was attended from the Omani side by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister responsible for foreign affairs, and from the Qatari side by His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Thani, head of the Emiri Diwan, and His Excellency Ali bin Fahad Al Hajri, Secretary of His Highness the Emir for Political Affairs. His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said stressed that the Sultanate, as a country of peace and thanks to the wisdom of His Majesty the Sultan, supports peaceful ways to solve problems. This came in a statement given to the Sultanate of Oman Radio and Television prior to the convening of the 26th Arab Summit in the Egyptian city of Sharm al Sheikh. He also said that the summit is a very important and critical and its agenda is full of topics that require wisdom to get out of all impasses in Arab countries. With the auspicious of His Majesty the Sultan's safe return, the Arab and world leaders pointed out that the Arab and Gulf region is in bad need for the wisdom of His Majesty the Sultan to help in diffusing the many conflicts facing the region. While the Sultanate is very keen on promoting principles such as good neighboring, non-interference in others' affairs, cooperation with other countries of the region and the world to achieve common interests, compliance with international law and legitimacy, His Majesty the Sultan still believes that it is important to do every possible effort to serve the interests of the countries and people in the region. The Sultanate has become a model for peace thanks to His Majesty the Sultan's wisdom, foresighted vision and belief in the importance of peace, security and stability for development. The Sultan's has been role model in democratic border lines, which its neighbors by promoting the principles no harm by or against. The Sultan also endeavors to defend its national interests and lands against any ingredients because of the type of peace promoted by the Sultanate depends on the mutual respect and good neighboring. In many Arab, Gulf and international conflicts, the Sultan's stances were proved to be right. It has proved its ability to promote dialogue and help disputing parties meet away from tension. The U.S.-Iranian meetings, facilitated by the Sultanate, paved the way for a September 2013 deal about the Iranian nuclear file. It also paved the way for the ongoing talks. The instances the Sultanate's offices have been successful in many. Thanks to His Majesty the Sultan's strategic thinking and awareness of the development of the Omani history, the Sultanate's true values and its solid base allow it to play a positive role in promoting security peace and stability.
condolences of His Majesty the Sultan to the government of Singapore and its people on the death of Li Kuan, former Prime Minister, were conveyed by His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Hamid Al Busaidi, Secretary General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This cat, during His Excellency Li Xin, Prime Minister of Singapore, received His Excellency the Secretary General of the Foreign Affairs Ministry. The condolences ceremony was attended by a number of presidents and officials from various countries of the world. At a time during which polarization besieges many countries of the world, the Sultanate, from the first instance of its renaissance march under the leadership of His Majesty the Sultan, drew a future track based on clear principles in foreign policy without deviating from its regional and international relations. More details in the following report. At a time during which polarization besieges many countries of the world, the Sultan, from the first instant of his Renaissance march under the leadership of His Majesty the Sultan, drew a future track based on clear principles in foreign policy without deviating from in its regional and international relations. The most important were non-interference in others' internal affairs and not allowing to intervene in the Omani affairs. Within this context, the Sultan was always successful to preserve for itself freedom of movement, decision, independency and credibility in managing numerous crises that it was not part in them. The Sultan, on trust of all regional and international parties away from policy of access and narrow alliances which featured in the regional scenes. The Omani role during recent years was visible in diffusing crises and making balances on the Gulf's both banks. In all difficult political curves, the Sultan was successful in expressing itself as a country whose foreign policy is characterized by wisdom, tranquility, frankness and clarity, which foundation was laid by His Majesty the Sultan. At the domestic level, His Majesty the Sultan made tangible achievements at numerous stops and occasions throughout the comprehensive development march all came at the level of countries' expectations and social, economic and political aspirations. His Majesty's wise and far-sighted vision made foundations for all stages of modern Oman Renaissance for new and important transformation either at the level of political dialogue or economic and social developments. With regard to emphasize the Omani heritage in that related to its essence, it also touches upon Omani culture and identity. In reality, people are always in front of renewed Omani policy address at the domestic level and in front of indications in that related to Oman's regional and international role, which with great importance in its various means and dimensions. The Omani address comprised numerous important indications which were not only expressing reality of Oman currently, but it takes into consideration the future aspects through the coming years until the end of the current decade at the least. In the economic dimension, there is reformulation of national economy performance through reviewing its plans and programs with new projects which will have great value added and big impetus for Omani economic and social infrastructure. At the social dimension, the citizen was and still in the focus of attention of His Majesty the Sultan through royal orders of unifying schedule of grades and salaries of employees of the civil sector. It reflected the keenness of His Majesty to make available decent life means for citizens to continue their role in the development march and this proved that His Majesty the Sultan once again inclined towards people and citizens, founders of developments, its targets and purposes. Attention to a support to the youth sectors through the establishment of a rough fund to be comprehensive of all resources of youth support. At the cultural and civilizational dimension, attention to a civilizational framework as a great important dimension, there was presence of Omani identity and heritage by preserving it and supporting its existence and continuation through upgrading traditional crafts and craft industries which embodied history, culture, identity and civilization. At the same time, this Omani velvet force embodied through His Majesty's Prize for Environment, Culture, Arts and Literature 
as well as Sultan Qaboos scientific chairs, which all were indicators with high accuracy and harmony for political, economic and social transformation. His leadership has recognized and has proven that to be successful. From the day one, he took power in this country. He made a promise that to change these countries to become the very best modernized country in the world. And he actually provided that promise. We'd like to thank His Majesty for everything that he's done. The development over the years has been absolutely fantastic. We've seen so many new developments with health, education, schools, even the youth and everything that they're able to do and the education that they're receiving has been absolutely fantastic. We'd like to thank His Majesty and we also wish him, on behalf of everybody I'm sure, a long life, good health and prosperity. Thank you to His Majesty for everything. The Sultan's celebrations continued on the occasion of His Majesty the Sultan's safe return to the homeland. In the wilayas of Al Awabi and Al Rastak in the Governorate of South Batana, the citizens organized a national procession rejoicing the return of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos to the country. They expressed the sincere greetings and prayed to Almighty Allah to protect His Majesty and the guardian of this country and its people. The citizens of the Wilaya of Bidia in the governorate of North Sharqiya celebrated His Majesty's return. They went in a huge procession amid happiness and meanings of loyal and gratitude. The procession started from Montrab Castle and ended at the center of the Wilaya. It was also accompanied by the Omani traditional arts and poems. In the Wilaya of Adam, in the governorate of the Khlia, the citizens went in processions expressing happiness and joy for the safe return of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, renewing allegiance and gratitude. In the Wilaya of Salala, in the governorate of Adhafar, citizens organized a national procession celebrating His Majesty's return safe and sound, carrying flags of the Sultanate and pictures of His Majesty. Oman guides and scouts also organized a procession of joy and loyalty, expressing their happiness of His Majesty's return safe and sound and great scout of the Sultanate. Scout music band participated in the procession with various musical pieces. The blessed return of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos to the homeland attracted Arab and international attention due to well-established relations linking the Sultanate with various countries of the world. In the United States, students expressed their greetings and best wishes to His Majesty and the loyal people of Oman, wishing His Majesty all success in his endeavor to achieve progress and prosperity in the country. The safe return of His Majesty to the Sultanate is a great historical event and a of delight for a generation who witnessed economic and social and educational renaissance in the country in His Majesty's reign. Analysts and intellectuals in the United States stressed that this return will open a new chapter of renaissance and positive changes to the people of Oman and the region. They commanded the wise and stable policies of His Majesty the Sultan in achieving stability in the region and affirmed the Sultan's active role in solving many disputes.
Now for the general weather forecast. Clear to partly cloudy skies will prevail over the southern, with chances of scattered rain over Hajar Mountains and nearby areas. Winds will be north to north, easterly light to moderate. Seas will be moderate along the western coast of the Governorate of Musandam, with a maximum wave height of 2 meters, and it will be slight to moderate along the rest of the coast, with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we enter tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos receives more cables of greetings on the occasion of His Majesty's safe return to the homeland. On behalf of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Sayyid Asad bin Tariq Al Said chairs the Sultan's delegation at the Works of Arab Summit in Egypt. And celebrations of the Wilayas of the Governorates continue rejoicing the safe return of His Majesty to the homeland. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the studio and the newsroom. It's good night.